Hey gang, Scott here. You know if you've watched my stuff, I do most of my editing in Lightroom. And then I'll bring my photo into other tools to finish things off. And when I'm looking for like a little extra drama or dreaminess, I'm reaching for Luminar Neo. There are uh, three particular filters or tools that I will reach for uh, again and again. And I'll cover those in this video. And I actually got an email from Skylum yesterday. They're running a little secret sale. So timing is apropos here. It's already started. Offer codes here on the screen. It'll save you 20% on their products, but it's only good for a week. Details are in the, the video description about the exact dates and when this is good for and all that kind of stuff. Check it out if you're looking to add Skylum to your toolkit. So uh, to, the, to the photo here, what I'm going to do. So I have this photo in Luminar Neo, a you know, beautiful view of Machu Picchu. You can see no edits whatsoever. And I want to you know, enhance the photo for sure, but but give it just a little air of, of dreaminess, a little air of drama. Filter number one that I'm always reaching for is actually Enhance AI. Now, if you're using Luminar, you know that this works uh, uh, for you know, a variety of photos, even things you haven't processed yet. But I'm going to be fiddling around here, kind of just clicking around, and I'm getting just this little extra amount of really lighting control. And right around there, before and after, you know, just clicking around there. That's just changed the photo a little bit. It's opened it up a little bit more for me. Uh, I ultimately want to draw attention kind of to this area here. Like I've, I've, I have one person walking across the green to give scale and kind of draw attention here. And accent is, is helping me out with that. And I'll play around the sky enhancer too. That's primarily gonna end up deepening those blues up there in the sky. Around there feels pretty good. And you know, again, I'm, I'm kind of clicking back and forth on the slider, not paying attention to the number because it's the look on the photo I care about. Right, the second tool that I'm reaching for is down in the landscape area, and it is called Landscape. Uh, haze, Golden Hour, and Foliage. Now, you know, Haze, I've already done my work elsewhere, so I don't need to play with that slider. But Golden Hour, I will play with. And I don't want to go too hard on this because there's quite a bit of yellow in the photo between the uh, the stones as well as just the amount of uh, you know green. There's a lot of yellow and green. So I'm going to go too hard on that. And then increasing the greens themselves. You know, I'll, I'll push it far. That's way too much for this photo for my tastes. Dial it back down to about there before and after. Subtle touch, but what it's doing for me in particular is really bringing up the greens of the, like the grasses, like the little valley between all of the, uh, the stonework. Now the, the third filter that I'm reaching for all the time is mystical. That's my go-to when I want that dreamy ethereal look. It's different than glow. It does, it does more and it does, uh, it does a very nice job, although I do want to be subtle on the touch. Mystical is down in the creative area. Let's collapse landscape, open up creative, and here's mystical. It effectively has an amount slider, and once you've adjusted it, I'm going to push it really, really hard. So you can see this this affects a lot of things, right? It's not just targeting uh, like you know highlights like a glow would. Now this is too much drama. I want to balance the 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 crispness of the mountains and the stonework, but um, but just add a touch of airiness, like a little bit ethereal. And I'm, I'm, I'm ending up around here for the amount before and after. The second slider I will play with is the shadows because this is like, will protect the shadow areas. If I push this farther and farther, you see less and less of that glow or that uh, that that soft dreaminess. I shouldn't use the word glow because it's really not glow, it's, it's mystical. But protecting the shadows some and around there, feels pretty good. Let's do a before and after on that. So we can see there's some shifts in the backdrop and a little more like a little more subdued in the the grasses and in the buildings. One more time before and after. So those three tools, let's go look at our, our edit area. We have mystical, landscape, and enhance. Those are things I added before. This is what I had when I came out of Lightroom. And after just those three things, I'll sure finish this up with a vignette. You know, Luminar Neo's got a vignette tool. Actually, has a nice little inner light slider, so uh, you can brighten the center part of your vignette as well as darken at the same time. And uh, you know, that's about the last finishing touch that I'll work on the photo. But those three tools, right? The uh, the the enhance AI for the accent 
and usually a little of the touch on the sky, and then reaching for landscape to do a little bit of the color work. So those two tools kind of do a little additional lighting work, a little bit of color, but then it's mystical. That's the one I want for that little dreamy work and just a lighter touch on it. Uh, I don't want to go overboard. I want to keep the natural feel of the scene. Just give it a little drama. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.